Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Then I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. But no! wasn't good enough for Todd it's not right for a father to hurt his daughter <clears throat> Alice daddy's very mad Get out of here, that's an order. You hear me? No. 
I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean, you want? You don't want anything! You're just a goddamn piece of plastic! I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Watch out, Kara! Come here, bitch. To obey me! You're mine. Far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out.
Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh, stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Ugh. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! <laughs> <laughs> 